Few things are more classically collegiate than homecoming. It is homecoming week 2010 at Ohio University. Hi everybody, I'm Russ Eisenstein, the voice of the Bobcats, and welcome to Bobcat TV's Bobcat Weekly. Ah, homecoming. Everybody returns back to town to mingle with those that are already here, and Bobcat football will cap off homecoming 2010 with the date against winless Akron on Saturday at Peden Stadium. They'll do so as a 3-3-2-1 ball club by virtue of a strong, dominant 49-25 winner over Bowling Green on Parents Weekend Saturday this past Saturday. The most frequently asked question about Bobcat football that I took in the offseason was, who's going to be the starting quarterback? Will there be two? And then past that, wheels started to turn. Well, possibly they could be on the field at the same time, right? Well, they were. The duo of Phil Bates and Boo Jackson was strong on Saturday. It really started to click. Boo had three touchdown passes, and Phil Bates ran for two scores and 142 total yards on the ground. Plus, he had a strong completion of the game, too. And because of his work, he's the Mac East Player of the Week offensively. It was fun for Frank Solich and his staff to piece things together on almost a play-by-play -play basis as to who is going to be in the ball game and when. You can juggle a little bit more than than what you might think in that you know um, you, you can go almost play by play if you want but uh, the fact that Boo can do both and, and Phil can can do both is allows you to you know go with a guy um, if uh, it, you know four or five ten plays in a row if you want or whatever and uh, but it also allows you to to uh, mix them up almost play by play and and so some of that just comes down to not wanting to try to be too predictable with things. So, you know, you may let a quarterback in there for a few more plays in, in knowing that the other quarterback maybe uh, might make sense to plug him in. But, uh, but both guys can operate our offense, and, and so you, you just go with that. There's got to be quite a bit of communication that takes place on the headsets to make, make sure that you know, everything goes right and that you substitute the quarterback in in time to get the play. And, Get, get it all huddled up and, and get it going. So we'll see how that progresses on Saturday. Uh, the fun that the offense brought to the table. Special teams clicked and the defense was pretty good too. We'll see if they could do that in back-to-back -back weeks at home against the winless Zips. Stay tuned to Bobcat TV for more preview coverage of homecoming 2010. Bobcat Volleyball was on the road this past weekend and they split, winning in four against Bowling Green in Northwest Ohio and then losing to rival Miami in four in the second match of the weekend. The Bobcats are now four and two in Mid-American Conference play and 12 and seven overall it's back on the road this weekend. Bobcat soccer was back home this past weekend and the combination of Philpot, Philpot and Famadou gave Ohio a winner over Northern Illinois. The Cats had a draw against Western Michigan in the first match of the weekend and then they won over the Huskies 3-2. Rachel Philpot and Toye Famadou had the goals in the game and Philpot's goal in the 29th minute was the one of distinction. Ohio is now 5-5-3 overall and 2-2-2 two, two, and two in the Mid-American Conference. It was a good win over the Huskies on Sunday. You want balance as a team? How about six goals from six different players? That's what Ohio Field Hockey had this past weekend, winning 3-1 over Kent State. And then a 3-0 blanking of Missouri State showed six players scored. Altdorfer, Brown, Bigalski, Herr, Zorn, and Ballard all reached the back of the net for the Bobcats. Ohio Field Hockey is now 8-7 and 4-1 and and in the MAC. Time now for the Bobcat calendar. On Friday, soccer goes to Miami and field hockey visits Muncie to take on Ball State. Swimming and diving is back in the pool and volleyball makes the trip to Muncie to take on the Cardinals. On Saturday, swimming and diving has the alumni varsity pentathlon. Women's and men's cross country travel to beautiful Terre Haute, Indiana for the pre-nationals. Football is at home against Akron and volleyball is in the Glass City against Toledo. On Sunday, soccer goes to Bowling Green, field hockey travels to Miami, and women's golf is at the Mac Fall Preview. That'll do it for Bobcat Weekly. Remember our coverage on the radio network of homecoming 2010, and football's date with Akron starts at 1 o'clock with the kick at 2. Stay here for Bobcat TV's Game Week Preview in advance of another meeting between the Bobcats and the Zips. For Ashley Hartzell, I'm Russ Eisenstein, and this is Bobcat TV.